you brought up uh, one of the questions that the let's see the small or even large retailer is going to ask you is what's my price how, yes. how do you figure out you should have that already pre-done and on your one sheet or whatever me how do you figure out that price yeah I, I wouldn't I generally don't put on the one sheet okay. the pricing okay because the price may vary depending upon the circumstances okay you know great. Uh, you know, I want you to deliver it to each of my independent stores. Well, that's more expensive than if the guy says, hey, I'll pick it up from you. So by quoting the price on the, uh, you can quote retail price, mm -hmm. but I think you would fault your, your price or program is in your email. Gotcha. Um, and you really need, again, I hate to go back to being a student, but let's go back to that fishing tackle guy. You know, you go into a handful of shops and you go, hey, what, what do you, uh, you know, what do you, what do you get for your lures? What do you pay? I'm, I've developed some. Try and get somebody to talk to you to try and get an idea. Right. That, because generally when you get to the big retailers, you go, how much margin do you need? Uh, just give me your best price. You know. Yeah. In general with the independents, if you just use that idea of Keystone, it's a $10 item. Your cost is five. Yep. You're in a really good starting place. You may be hurting yourself in some cases. But um, you know, they got to have a reason for spending that first money to turn it back into cash. And- and at big retail, there's there there's a lot of calculations related to it. It's all about that gross margin return on inventory invested. And there, there there's a simple formula, and you, know, you can boil down the performance of your product down to that one number. And a lot of retailers you know, look at that on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. um, so my my, you really don't need to worry about you know that right now. Okay. All I'm trying to really illustrate is that. If you want to give them less margin, they have to sell more and it's less attractive. As great as your product is, they're in business to make money. They got a family to feed. You want to help them feed their family. Mm -hmm. And if you're offering them more sales or more margin um, than the others, then they're, they're more, more attractive. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and have you found in your own personal experience that uh, these mom and pop shops, let's just call them that, or, or smaller retailers, the overall that they they are willing and want to kind of help you through this process or yeah, in, in yeah. general yeah in general yes mm. i mean it has to nobody wants to help with something that is of no value to them or of their course. customer so you have to assume that you're approaching them with a clear reason and a clear method to sell the product and ideally some proof that it will work now in the earlier stages you may just fall back onto really need your advice, just trying this out. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, you know, I'll make sure your business isn't hurt. Let's get this in the store. Right. Let's try it. Um, I'm even happy to come in there on a Saturday and I want to talk to your customers. Let me see if I can sell it. You know, the, those sorts of approaches are so good. When you stand in that retail environment and you're talking to the customer, boy, you're going to learn so much. Well, oh, that's, what Grant, that's what Grant said earlier is like, unfortunately, the, the lesson wasn't a, necessarily favorable to the, the, the uh, experience. The experience wasn't, wasn't favorable. favorable, but the lesson was gold. Yeah. Right. So don't be afraid to, to hear no and don't be afraid to like just grasp all that knowledge that people are spewing, even if it's not what you want to hear. Yeah. But, but yeah. Put it this way. No is your friend. Yeah. You're yeah. going to hear so much of it. And if you think about no, it's, it's, it, I, you've not given me enough information mm. to say yes. So the question is, no, I understand why. Right. Yeah. And I wouldn't use a product like that. I don't like the color. I, da, 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 da. You may get a pearl of wisdom that changes everything. 